hi welcome back a warm welcome to you so you can see the whole problem solved right there are a couple of examples which I spent around 20 minutes and recorded them but at the end found that the recording device is not working properly so I have just kept them as it is so that I can share it with you okay we'll go through these problems simple problems right instead of I doing it I'll try to explain for this time okay there are two problems let's go through them fine thanks find the equation of the right bisector of the line segment joining the points 3 comma 4 and minus 1 comma 2 that's the first problem we'll go to the second problem afterwards what's the first problem equation of the right bisector right bisector is nothing but perpendicular bisector right so there are two points 3 comma 4 and minus 1 comma 2 you have to find out the equation of the perpendicular bisector now what is the meaning of perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector means it makes it actually divides the line segment into two equal halves that means if this is let me say something like this is c one minute if i say this is equal to If I say this is equal to C, let me put a point there. Okay, let us say this point is equal to C. Okay, if this is C, then C is nothing but the midpoint of AB. So, what I have to do first, I have to find out the midpoint. Then the perpendicular bisector should be perpendicular to the line AB, right? So, you have point B and point A you find out the slope of this and you find out the slope of CD suppose let us say this as D then find out the slope of CD that's it ok let me see let us see how we have done it so the points are 3 comma 4 minus 1 comma 2 so we found the midpoint midpoint is 3 minus 1 by 2 average them 1 4 plus 2 by 2 3 so let's also find out the slope of this line slope of AB is 2 minus 4 by minus 1 minus 3 that's nothing but minus 2 by minus 4 that's nothing but equal to 1 by 2 if AB slope is 1 by 2 then slope of CD will be minus 2 we know that right because these two are perpendicular lines m1 m2 equal to minus 1 is the formula so now once you got the slope you know the point it's very easy you can just go for point slope so what we did point is 1 comma 3 and the slope is minus 2 so we did y minus 3 is equal to minus 2 into x minus 1 that's nothing but just bring whole this part here it becomes 2 into x minus 1 plus y minus 3 equal to 0 that's nothing but 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 okay that's the first one i think it's pretty simple right only the thing is we are actually trying to do for the first time a perpendicular bisector equation perpendicular bisector means first it goes through the midpoint of the given line segment second it's perpendicular to whatever the line it is so you know the line or you know the points find out the slope of the line and find out the perpendicular slope then you are done so let us look at the second example find the coordinates of the foot of perpendicular from the point minus 1 comma 3 to the line 3x minus 4y minus 16 equal to 0 now what is the foot of the perpendicular is nothing but the point of intersection of the line and the normal to it normal or a perpendicular line to it right so in this figure c point c is the foot of perpendicular right now we have been given the equation of AB that's 3x minus 4y minus 16 equal to 0 and we also know the point minus 1 comma 3 from which the perpendicular is drawn. Now we want to find out the C we have done this earlier right when we are calculating the perpendicular distance right what we have done we know this equation we have created the equation for CD then we have used cross product or cross multiplication and we found the point C that's what we are going to do now also it's a simple example right okay fine perfect now 3x minus 4y minus 16 equal to 0 
the perpendicular line will be of the form 4x plus 3y plus k equal to 0. But it is passing through minus 1 comma 3. So if you substitute 4 into minus 1 plus 3 into 3 plus k equal to 0 which gives me k equal to minus 5. Now I know the equation of AB, I know the equation of CD, I am going for cross multiplication, cross product, right? If I do that, x divided by 20 minus of minus 48 divided by y by minus 64 minus of minus 15 equal to 1 by 9 minus of minus 16, right? That is 16. I am not sure whether you got it. Let me correct it. That is 16. 16, right? 9 minus of 9 minus of minus 16, right? Now this gives you the values as x equal to this gives you the values as next is x by 68 equal to y by we'll simplify this here, right? x by 68 equal to y by minus 64 plus 15 minus 49 is equal to 1 by 25. So that gives you the point. Now you want to cross check? You want to cross check? We just now learned the foot of perpendicular length formula, right? We can use that and we can check the distance between C D. Okay. Let's find out what is the length of C D. Length of C D by two points if I take these two points, right, let's length of CD by perpendicular we will do first. What is the equation? 3x, that means 3 into, what is the point we have to substitute? Minus 1 comma 3. Minus 1 comma 3 perpendicular from minus 1 comma 3 to the line, let me say this is L to line. L. 3 into x is minus 1 minus 4 into y is 3 minus 16 divided by square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Simplify this minus 3 minus 12 minus 16 you have to use mod for that square root of 25 this is nothing but simplifies to 3 plus 12 is 15 15 plus 16 is 31 so this becomes 31 divided by root 25 is 5 so that's the distance 31 by 5 right just remember that we did it in one way now let's do it in the second way and see whether it satisfies or not. Okay. We will do it here. Right? Super. What are the two points we have to do calculate the distance between? Minus 1 comma 3 and the another one is see, we are only just cross checking. Right? We are not doing anything else. We are just only cross checking whether what we did is correct or not. Minus 49 by 25. This is x1 y1 this is x2 y2. What is the formula? Distance is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now let's substitute the values. It's equal to square root of x2 minus x1 so it becomes 68 by 25 plus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is minus of 49 by 25 minus 3 square. This is nothing but if you simplify this becomes 93 by 25 whole square plus minus of 3 into 25 if you simplify that it becomes minus 49 minus 3 25 is 75 divided by 25 whole square right 4975 is 124 seems to be something interesting 124 square I am minus 124 square by 25 square 
this is nothing but this is nothing but equivalent to square root of I will take 1 by 25 square outside and I will take 31 square then I will be left with 3 square plus 4 square right I have done anything what I have done 31 3's are 93 31 4's are 124 so this becomes 31 square into 5 square divided by 25 square under square root under square root that's nothing but equal to thirty one by five. So we are good to go. Right? So in this video we have seen couple of problems where earlier we haven't worked on any perpendicular bisector. So we have seen one example where perpendicular bisector. We have been given a line, we have formed the equation for the perpendicular bisector. And also we have seen foot of perpendicular. In the last video only we found how to find the length of perpendicular from a point to a line. The distance is always a perpendicular distance. Now here we have seen one example where we have applied the same concept. And there is also another way to find out the foot of perpendicular that we will do in coming videos. Okay, which is very simple way of doing this. Right. Thank you. Bye for now.